problem 2.37. This is a steady state conduction case in which the temperature distribution of a semi-transparent material is given. The thermal conductivity and the thickness of this material is also provided. This material is exposed to laser irradiation. The goal of the problem is to obtain an expression for the heat fluxes, the heat generated, and also for the total absorbed radiation by the material per unit area. The first part of the problem is asking us to find the fluxes. Since this is a one-dimensional problem, we're going to start with the flux in the x-axis, which is given by the Fourier's law as k dt dx. Since we already have the temperature profile, we could calculate the derivative of the temperature to be equal to a Using this information, we're going to calculate the flux at position 0 and at position L. So the flux at position 0 is simply going to become A, lowercase a, minus Kb. If we do the same process for the position L, we're going to find that that is going to be negative. Please double check that these calculations are properly done. The second part of the problem is asking us to calculate the amount of heat generated within the material. We will start with the heat conduction equation. Since the problem is one dimensional, we're able to get rid of the second derivative in A with respect to Y and respect to Z. Since the problem is honest, is a steady, we're able to get rid of the last term. Therefore, the equation becomes simply That's Q. In order to find out the heat generated, we simply have to take the second derivative with respect to x of the temperature and substitute it into this equation. After a couple of steps, you should be able to find out that the heat generated is simply A, E. Please make sure that you follow the steps in order to get to the same answer. The last part of the problem is asking us to derive an expression for the rate at which radiation is being absorbed by the material. We start with a balance of energy. Notice that in this case, it's a steady state, therefore we get rid of the last term, and the energy balance reduces to this. Let's just start with the current definitions that we have for the energies. The energy that we have going in is in terms of fluxes, and is simply the, the flux that is given at the origin. The flux that is living, or the energy that is living, is equal to the flux at position L. Therefore, if we want to evaluate the energy that is being generated, since we already have the formula for um, Qx at L and Qx at zero, we could simply find that, that the energy generated is going to be equal to minus and this is the expression that you will have for the energy that is generated. An alternative approach to evaluate the energy generated is to calculate the integral of the heat generation. So we take energy generated flux it's equal to the integral from 0 to L from Q dot X dx. With the information that we obtain in the second part of the problem, we obtain the same expression. Please make sure that you take the time to go over each one of the calculations to make sure that they are correct and that you get exactly the same results.